Hey guys, Ryan Jeffries here with a couple quick tips to help improve your 3D scores. So one thing I found for myself is that where I hit the 3D targets respective to where I might sight my bow in on a bag target or, or on spots are not the same. So I've heard it many, many times. You hear people that uh, come to a tournament and they say, I, I don't know what happened, but I got on the course and I had to take two yards out of my bow. Well, that's probably because they sighted their bow in on one type of target, and then on the 3D animal, they're hitting different points of impact. For me, I found that if I sight in on a, on a spot, I'm generally gonna hit high on a 3D animal. And the reason is, is because it's a different sight picture. So I wanna practice the sight picture that I'm gonna see in the tournaments. I wanna adjust my sight for that sight picture. And so once I've sighted my bow in and, and I've got my my yardage scale set um, at known distance. I'll then move over to the 3D animals and then I'll adjust my indicator. And I will almost always hit high on a 3D animal after I've sighted in on a bag target at the same distance. So I'll adjust that out of the, out of the sight scale with my indicator to hit behind the pin. Um, that's gonna improve your scores dramatically, prevents you from shooting high and low because you sighted in on a different type of target. Second tip. If you can, practice on targets, not just on the bags. I know targets are expensive, but if you have the opportunity to pick up one or two targets, especially the, the ones that give you the most trouble, I recommend you do that and practice on shooting and aiming at those animals. It's not the same as practicing on a bag target. So I primarily bought my target so that I could practice judging. I shoot unknown 3D, so judging these animals and learning what they look like at different distances is critical for me to improve my scores. However, I also found out that practicing aiming on these animals was a big advantage as well because I'm learning where to aim on these targets to hit where I want to hit. I'm learning where these circles are, are located and I have, you know, ability to memorize where on that animal are the rings that I'm trying to hit, especially when I'm under pressure and I can't see them. So the black targets in particular, the dark and the black targets are even more difficult to see the rings in low light conditions. So practicing on those dark targets and learning where the vital areas are that you're trying to get the bonus rings um, is gonna help you in the tournament situation when you can't see as much detail as you would like to. Um, sometimes the target's leaning back, sometimes it's leaning forward, it's quartered either way, and it makes these rings even more hard to identify uh, in low light conditions. But if you practice on these animals and learn the vital areas and learn the features of the animal, where the leg comes up and with respect to where the, the bonus rings are, those are references you'll be able to see in, in lower light conditions and utilize to your advantage. Um, that's just a great tip that I found works for me practice shooting the 3D animals and you'll be more comfortable aiming at them. You'll know where to aim even when you can't see the detail that you would prefer. Good luck.